Welcome to Tuesday's Tips from Sew Very Easy. My name is Laura and we use a quarter inch seam allowance in quilting to reduce bulk in the intersections with all those little pieces joined together. However, we still often have bulk in those tiny little areas. There are a few different ways of reducing that bulk. A standard way of reducing the bulk is making sure that our seams are pressed in opposite directions. And that way we don't have all the bulk on one side of that seam. We have it on both sides. The second way is to take those seams and press them open and flat so you have a seam on each side. The seams don't nestle up, but you still have that seam allowance evenly distributed on each side when you go to sew those blocks together. But there are two other ways that don't involve pressing that involve cutting. And the first one would be called grading your seams. After you've stitched your seam allowance, you will go in and trim off just a little bit on one edge. And that way you have one seam that's a little bit smaller than the bottom seam. When the block is pressed, you have these little steps so all the bulk is not in one area. And you can trim the entire seam or a portion of it. We don't need the bulk taken away for the center. It's the edges where everything gets attached that we need to trim the bulk down. So we will trim just a portion of that seam. The seams are going to go in opposite direction so that they can be stitched together. But having this little notch taken out on both sides will help reduce the bulk. Regardless, if we press the seam in one direction or the other, or press it open, there's less bulk because it's like little steps underneath. We can also trim off some dog ears underneath. The seam already has been graded, but I do have this little point. That point can be trimmed off. You will not be cutting into the seam, you're just cutting up to the seam and that little point will be trimmed off. By cutting that little point off, it's going to help reduce the bulk and it's also going to help that that point doesn't get caught up in our seams and that would cause distortion and a buildup of fabric. And that little point can be cut off on both sides. Between the grating and the trimming of the ears, we have a very flat seam. You can also trim those ears off before you sew them together. We will not be trimming into the seam allowance. We're just going to trim off this little point, just like we would be trimming off a dog ear. But the dog ear is inside, not sticking outside. By trimming off that little bit, we have now reduced the fabric in this little seam. We can do that to both sides. There's no exact measurement we just need to trim off that extra. Those seams are still going to go together and nestle together, but they won't have the bulk. And by having less bulk in here, the points will always look a little sharper. We can also use that grading method for seams that have extra fabric in them. For example, when we put a flange in between the seams, we normally will start with an inch of a fabric fold the wrong sides together and then put that little folded piece of fabric in between the two layers of fabric. When we stitch and open up the fabric, we have this little flange or this little peekaboo of fabric in between those two layers. It is a very attractive look and adds a lot of detail, but it also adds a lot of bulk in one area. When all of the seams are pressed to one side, we will have five layers of fabric right along this edge. So it is a very thick seam. So we can grade those seams. Each four of the layers have been cut to a different thickness. I'll show you on something bigger. This is a larger seam so that you can see the differences. We have the back fabric cut in one measurement, then the next, the next, and the next. So it looks like we have four steps. When the seam is pressed to one side, 
All of these steps will make a very smooth transition so you won't see a very hard line. And if you press the seam so that the largest seam allowance is showing, you don't see the steps underneath. Now this is an exaggeration of what you would do with that little quarter inch seam allowance. Having those little steps definitely makes it a lot smoother. You won't notice a big ridge where all that fabric is underneath. We can also reduce the bulk when blocks have already been sewn together. It's the same as trimming off the dog ears. We're going to trim off these little flaps of fabric going from seam to seam without cutting into the quilt block. And this trimming can be done to all of the areas where we have a lot of fabric coming together. Throughout the quilt, you're going to be able to look at areas. And if you can put your scissor underneath and fold up a point, that is an area that can be trimmed down. It is definitely more work trimming off those little ears, but it does reduce the bulk so if you have a quilt block that has a lot of bulk in it, these are a couple of ways of reducing that bulk. So we can press the seams going in opposite directions, press those seams open and flat, we can grade those seams so they're like steps, and we can cut off big dog ears. Those are four ways which will help reduce the bulk when we get into those tiny little corners. Thank you for joining me today on So Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe and as always, come on back. Let's see what we're sewing next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.